Okay, I've just unwrapped the uh, panel. It's, uh, it's a 30 by 40. Um, uh, I ordered this online because none of the local art supply stores uh, had this size in stock. Um, and unfortunately, um, there's a little bit of an issue with the panel. Um, normally, I don't buy panels online for exactly this reason, which is that there are some uh, imperfections uh, both on the surface and on the edges of the panel. So somewhere along the line in the warehouse or in transportation, uh, the panel uh, got jarred a, a bit. Um, and so um, before I can get going with the painting part of things, we're going to have to do a little bit of cosmetic surgery on some of those imperfections. Uh, the advantage of working on wood is that when you do run into these issues, you're able to use some readily available products uh, to fix the problems. And so I'm going to be using some wood filler today. Um, I make sure that I use um, filler that has uh, no solvents in it. I um, discovered that one the hard way um, because what will happen is if there is solvent, it tends to bleed through in the paint. Uh, and then once the repairs are done there and everything is sanded down to a nice smooth finish, um, then we'll be able to come in with uh, the primer coats um, of which there are usually somewhere between six and nine. Uh, and then once all of that is done, then we could get going on the drawing part of the process. So um, for the repairs, it's very simple, just a, a putty knife and uh, this uh, wood filler. And um, you uh, come on in and level things off to make sure that they look uh, nice and uh, even. This edge indentation is a particular problem because uh, the wood um, seems to have bubbled a bit uh, as it got compressed. I suspect somebody dropped the panel on its side. Um, and so what I'm gonna have to do is shave a little bit off the top of this because it's bulging out a bit. Uh, and down here, we'll use some putty as well to uh, fill it in. So I'm gonna start shaving that out. Okay, so the first coat of gesso is now dry and hardened. It uh, took about two hours for that to happen. Um, and um, I'll now sand it down with 400 grit sandpaper and apply another coat of gesso and keep building up that surface until I feel that the wood grain is completely sealed. And usually it takes somewhere between six and nine layers of gesso for that to happen. Uh, but I will spare you the, the pain of watching me do that over and over again. You can just rewind the video and play it over if you're finding it fascinating. Um, but what I will tell you is that the next step in the process of doing this painting will be to do the drawing. And so that will be the next episode.